Happy St. George's Day. I'm Jonathan Cruck with the tale of St. George and the Dragon. Once upon a time of woe and wonder, north of the Sahara Desert in the Libyan village of Selene, there stood a well, a dragon, and a prissy princess. Oh, my God, why must I be the one who has to be sacrificed to this blatant beast? Oh! Because, you know, lassie, you've got to give it up so that we can all drink from the well. That's right. The dragon requires a sacrifice before we can get any water to slack our thirst. I know, but why does it have to be me? Ba-ba-boom, ba-boom! Oh, uh, Zeus, do you suppose, like, I could send, like, some kind of a hero, so at least I have some kind of a chance of being saved, you know, like Theseus or Perseus or Hesius? Ba-ba-boom, ba-boom! Um, like, who are you? By George, I'm George from Greece. Here to save thee in the name of the one true God. Well, would you get to it? Whoa! The dragon breath is like wretched. I take my blade in hand, Ascalon, and snicker snack, dragon. By God, I slayeth thee. Whoa! God thud. Oh well, sorry you're dead, dragon, but. Um, as father of the princess here, I will reward you, George, with a treasure. And, George, I'm going to have to give you a little kiss. And I'm going to take that treasure and give it to the people. And a kiss, too. Yo! Uh, who are you? What? I'm Diocletian. I'm the emperor of Rome, Great Britain, and Hoboken. Uh, what do you want with me? <laughs> what do I want with you? I want you out of here. I want you off because, you see, you evoked the wrong god, bloody Christian. <laughs> it's against my religion to let you go around and about by Zeus. What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about this. I'm going to have to uh, decapitate you. What? <laughs> oh! Off goes George. Well, the very least I can do is take some of his blood back to Edward the Third. And thus, the Highlander returned to merry old England. <laughs> King Edward, I bring you the blood. A Saint George, he slayed a dragon. And I know you didn't have much luck with that uh, Saint Edmund, so why don't you take some of this blood? It'll be good against any kind of foe you come up against, even a Captain Kirk. <laughs> Thus, in England, whene'er they had to face any foe, they would evoke this. Once more into the breach, good friends, we go once more. Cry for Harry, England, and Saint George. And so, my friends, on St. George's Day, raise your glass and swallow your prissy princess with a toast to St. George and the dragon. Oh! Live happily ever after.